Yes. So box of mass three kgs lies on the rough surface like this. X is the force with which we are pushing it up. The line of action of the force is in same vertical plane. So that means all the forces are coplanar. Coefficient of friction is given here. Coefficient of friction is how much? 0 0.3. It's given here. And the box is in limiting equilibrium. Limiting equilibrium means friction force is equal to mu times r. Correct? Yes. And uh, we have to find the value of x. So let's start with first one here. So let us put all the forces first. So this we have to take it as y axis. This we have to take it as x axis. Okay. Yes. And all the forces we have to take. This force is uh, normal reaction. And uh, what other forces will act here? Weight of the box will act downwards. Weight is 3 kg. So 3g. Correct? <clears throat> yes. Then which other force? This force now. What is this? Friction force, right? Mm. Yes. The box is moving upwards or downwards? The next question. He is about to move up the plane. The box is trying to move upper side. So friction will be opposite to upper motion, right? Yes. And this friction will be mu times r. So we have taken all the forces. What about angles? This angle will be 40 degrees. And this angle here will also be 40 degrees. Okay, so let's take uh, Y components first. So R is acting upwards. Then component of 3G. Component of 3G will be 3G cos 40 degrees and it will act in negative y direction so negative then again x component of x is x sin 40 degrees and this component is acting downwards so minus and the other force is x direction so no components of that so r value R value will be unknown, right? So let's write equation of R. R is 3G cos 40 minus minus x sin 40. Oh, sorry, minus will go so go to the other side becomes plus, right? So this let us call it as equation one. Next, let us take sigma x that is x components of forces. So Mm, yeah, so let's take x component, x for cos 40 will be the component, it's acting in positive x direction, then 3g sin 40, this is acting opposite to x direction, so minus, and then friction is acting opposite to x direction, so minus for friction also. So coming here, we need to substitute the value of R here. Okay, substitute the value of R here. So what do we get? So this total should be 0 of course. So x is unknown, x cos 40 minus 3g sin 40 minus mu value is given 0 0.3 into in place of r substitute this whole equation so 3g cos 40 plus x sin 40 okay so the equation is a little large okay so total should be zero so keep x values on one side and send the other terms to the other side so x cos 40 will stay here and then this side x is there so we will get minus 0 0.3 sin 40 so this will stay on the right side send the constant terms to this side so we get 3g sin 40 we we'll need some space here let's move this side 
so 3g sine 40 has become positive on, on the left side then uh, 0 0.3 3g cos 40 this will also become positive this side right yes so x will be this total divided by this total okay yes so let's uh, feed it in the formula directly so first numerator 3 into 9.81 into sine 40 plus 0.3 into 3 into 9.81 into cos 40 then divided by these terms right so cos 40 minus 0.3 into sine 40 how much are we getting 44.8 this is in newtons so this is the force required to start causing the motion on right side upper side next he is also asking b bit he is asking so this is our a bit b bit is asking find the normal reaction so for normal reaction we should take this value feed it back here we take a different color so take this value feed it back here okay so r equals let's find it r equals 3 into 9.81 into cos 40 and plus x x value is 44.80 into sin 40 so we are getting 51.34 51.34 newtons so this is the answer to b bit okay any doubts here no, sir.